Queen's Indian Defense, Fianchetto, Classical, Traditional Variation, 7, NE48.BD2F5. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. White played the opening well, but Black was on another level. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. Opening with the Queen's Pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. By taking control of the crucial d5 square and creating a space on which the knight can move to c3 without obstructing the c-pawn, move c4 helps to create a strong center. The move e6 creates a line for the dark squared bishop, sets up a rapid castle, and prepares to push a pawn to d5 and recover the piece if it is taken. Nf3 develops toward the center, putting pressure on the e5 square and adding another defender to the d4 pawn. The queen's Indian defense prepares to fianchetto the light squared bishop on b7, where it will have influence on the long diagonal. The light squared bishop is getting ready to be fianchetto on g2, where it will be positioned on the long diagonal. Fianchetto move bb7 places the bishop on the long diagonal. Fianchetto move bg2 places the bishop on the long diagonal. b7 develops the bishop and prepares to castle. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. The d5 and e4 squares are under the control of nc3, which advances the knight into the center. ne4 places the knight on a center square where it attacks the knight on c3 and the f2 pawn. Bd2 develops the bishop and supports the knight on c3. F5 gains space on the king side and adds a defender to the e4 knight. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. It is the last book move. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. That's good. A better technique to recapture a piece is missed by this. It is incorrect. A very strong play. It is excellent. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is quite good. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. By growing a queen from its beginning square, this activates the queen. It is quite good. This reveals an assault that poses a threat to a bishop. It is ideal. This is an equal trade. It is best. Backs off. It is quite good. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. That's fine. It is good. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. That's good. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This hits in the middle and prevents the opponent from gaining ground. It is ideal. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. This reveals an attack that poses a threat to a queen. It is ideal. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is excellent. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is quite good. That's a decent move. That's good. Now that the rook is on an open file, it is easier to control squares all over the board. It is ideal. This misses a chance to contest the open file with the opposing rook. It is incorrect. This gives the adversary the chance to contest the opponent's rook for the open file. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to contest the opponent's rook for the open file. It is incorrect. The rook is now in a safe position. That's good. This misses an opportunity to challenge the opposing rook for the open file. This permits the opponent to create a passed pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This misses a great but hard to find move. This permits the opponent to challenge the opposing rook for the open file. It is an inaccuracy. While not a mistake, 
that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. That's fine. It is good. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. A pawn kicks the opposing rook, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is ideal. This competes for the open file with the opposing rook. It is ideal. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. This poses a threat to a bishop who is confined. It is ideal. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. This stops the opponent from being able to attack a trapped bishop. It is best. This kicks an opposing bishop. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This exchange is fair. It is quite good. Backs off. It is ideal. This misses a chance to relocate a bishop to safety. It is incorrect. There was only one good move in that position. This overlooks an opportunity to defend a knight that was under attack. It is a miss. While not the greatest course of action, this is an intriguing alternative. That's good. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This reveals an attack on a bishop. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This displays a queen attack. It is ideal. This moves the queen to safety. It is good. This misses an opportunity to win a tempo by threatening a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Recaptures. White is equal at this point in the endgame. It is ideal. By moving it from the back rank, this activates the king in the endgame. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. A solid choice. It is excellent. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is ideal. The pawn is now adequately defended. It is best. That pawn was free for the taking. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. This steps away from the checking queen. It is best. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This evades the check from the queen. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. This steps away from the checking queen. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. White played the opening well, but black was on another level. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game.